Hello everyone, this is Alejandra Gomez with creatingwithali.com. Let me just move slightly the camera. I feel like you don't really see me. <laughs> so anyway, and I'm sitting down, but um, anyway, so thank you for so much for joining me. Uh, I am a little bit earlier today because there is a training at 7 p.m. I believe that I want to take. So uh, I know I'm not going to be able to make the whole thing, but hopefully I can finish earlier so I can at least start watching some of the, um, some of the, um, yeah, of that training. So anyway, we'll see how that goes. But um, anyway, so for today or for tonight, I, my card class is the one that is called, that is featuring the peak of a patch, which is a great one for like uh, fall. It has the um pumpkins and you can make the little pumpkins with the faces for like halloween so i thought this was really cute and this is part of um a bundle that comes with a punch so it is a punch set and a stamp set and so definitely you want to make sure you grab it right away i am also going to be featuring with the new designer series paper that is called the them bones which is part of our halloween suite if you will and um and i'm going to be using it in three cars of course so i think like these are really cute um these were part of our um team meeting um we every month we have a team meeting where we get to make some some projects together and these are the ones or yeah these are the ones that uh we got to make during um this month so anyway so i wanted to share with you mainly because i thought they were really cute and two i thought it was a great way to start um you know featuring some new products that are coming up starting tomorrow. Now, uh, I think on, it was yesterday, yeah, Monday, I did a video and I, by mistake, said that the, the catalog was launching today. It's not today, it's tomorrow, it's the 6th. Um, so anyway, so we'll go from there. But in the meantime, let me know where you're watching from. Hopefully you had a great holiday weekend. And um, like I said, leave me on the comments, let me know on the comments where you're watching from. I love hearing where you are from and where you're watching from and so anyway so let's get it started let me oh and let me also connect on the other phone by the way i always forget doing that until i am on the live that way i can kind of catch some of the comments as well and um if you have any crafty friends as always it will help me a lot if you share the video uh that's a great way for others to get to know me so thank you so much for sharing the video Hola gordita, hi Cindy, um, hi Janice, hi Amy. <laughs> so anyway, so let's get it started. So uh, to start today and tomorrow are the last two days for the card club featuring the texture floral. So let me just show you the, show them. These these are the ones that um, that are going to be shipping on September twentieth. So anyone on my card club will be getting uh, a kit to make these five cards. Again, this is the texture floral and um, I have released already the tutorial, so you can go and see it at creatingwithali.com forward slash shop. So you can go ahead and see them. And um, Card Club is my monthly, my subscription monthly program where once you're in, you're in for as long as you want. And uh, you get a kit in the mail every month to make five cards and about, I don't know, $25 worth of merchandise. Um, it is $45, it already includes the shipping. And again, you can stay for as long as you want, but when you stay with me for six consecutive months, you get an additional $25 on the sixth uh, month. So anyway, uh, so hopefully you want to join us. You can learn more about this program at creatingwithali.com forward slash card club. You can read all the details. You can sign up there. And uh, But the one important thing is if you sign up, make sure you go back to creatingwithali.com forward slash card club again this is uh today and tomorrow are the last days if you want to be getting the september kit and let me just show you the october i show you on monday but let me just show you again because it's really cute and this one features the uh autumn leaves and look at this oh my goodness look at all the foils i just love it so this is the um october kit and so if you want to be getting this kit, make sure you sign up by September 8th, okay? 
Um, so anyway, look at see. Two of these ones are foam foils. I just love them, and I just love all the different foils. The paper is just gorgeous. By the way, this paper is sold out right now, but it's going to come back by September 11th. So even though catalog is launching tomorrow, this one has been already sold out. So... Um, but it's supposed to be back by September 11th. Thank you so much for sharing, Kay. I really appreciate it. So anyway, so um, one of the great things of being a demonstrator is that we get to order like a month before the catalog launches. So we get to get to, we get access to those products. And like I said, it's going to come back, but at least for right now, it's not available until the 11th. So hopefully by next week, it's going to be. Again, you can read more about Card Club at creatingwithelly.com forward slash card club. And I would love to have you there and test it. I'm sure you're going to love it. Uh, most of my customers, uh, whenever they send me um, a note of appreciation, they always comment that they really enjoy being in the card club. So anyway, the other thing is that yesterday I launched the third uh, card class for the... Um, what is this? For the... Hold on, I'm doing this wrong. For the Stampa Stacks. So let me just show you. This one is featuring the Polar Bear, which is the very cute stamp set and bundle. So again, this is the program where we make 12 cards. I design four cards and you make three of each of the different designs. For this month, all four are uh, phone full. So I know you're gonna love it. This is the one that features the cute Polar Bear and the punch. There is The bundle has a punch and the stamp set. So um, make sure tomorrow, if you wanna be taking this class, Oh, or even if you don't take the class, but make sure tomorrow you grab that punch because typically punches are the ones that sold out immediately. And um, this is being very popular, I'm going to tell you. So make sure that tomorrow when the catalog launches, make sure you grab it right away. Um, Sandy, so the ones uh, for the Polar Bear is going to be released after tomorrow, uh, mainly because I cannot put anything on the supply list from the new catalog. So that one is going to be released later this week. So I have the tutorial with the measurements and the videos. I don't have the supply list. So I'm waiting to have the products launched so that I can put them into my system. So check out, um, I don't know, the 7th. <laughs> Hopefully by then it's up. But I have everything ready to go with that one. Same thing is going to be with the Card Club. Um, this one, it also has all the products from the new catalog. Uh, and so I'm waiting to be able to put all the supply list. The one that I just uploaded right now was the Cart Club. This one is already on the tutorial store. But for the but, but for the uh, Polar Bears, please wait a couple of days more. Okay. So anyway, if you um, if you want to sign up for the Cart Kit, I have posted the link on my Facebook group. So make sure you check it out. Uh, also, my email. So make sure you're on my email list because they are the ones who get the links uh, first than anyone else, right? So make sure you are uh, uh, on my email list and you can go to creatingwithali.com and there will be like a pop-up uh, screen where you can sign up or here in the description of the video or below in YouTube, you can check it out and it said something like bit.ly forward slash stay in touch with Ali. Uh, that's the way to sign up for my mailing list so that you can get all the links for the classes. I cannot really uh, post them in the Facebook page, but I can share them on the group. So you can be on the group and you'll see them there. And I post them also, I believe, yesterday. So anyway, like I said, uh, but the more important thing is that if you want to take this class or even if you don't want to be taking the class but love the pull over, make sure you grab that punch right away or that bundle. Because like I said, uh, punches usually sells out really or sell out really quick and i'm just afraid it's going to sell sell out really quick um with the new catalog so anyway and the final thing i want to um mention is the paper share so this is the paper share where uh, jennifer and i partner to make um an event where we do the paper share. So you get a sampling of all the new designer series paper and there's really beautiful paper this year. And um, and then we have the option to do 
a party to get a party or to have an event with us and what that party is is that you get to make one card with each of the different designers designers to this paper so it's really fun this one in particular will include 12 uh projects so i have designed my six jennifer's already working on her six as soon as i have those i can share with you but let me just share with you the six that i designed i'm just loving how they look uh this one has the gold foil and then look at this one, similar. Um, we have that one. Uh, hi, Marianne. Then we have this one as well. I just love them all. And then of course, uh, I had to get the polar bear too. So anyway, so these are the projects that I have for the paper share. Um, the party has multiple options. Again, if you are on my Facebook group, I have shared the links there as well. But if you're in my mailing list, that's, uh, that's where I share also the registration group. There's different options, paper share only, paper share and the party, paper share, ribbon share and the party, um, or only the online version. So multiple options for this class. So make sure you read through and pick the one that fits best for you. Um, if you are a demonstrator or if you are outside the United States and want to get only the party, there is an option for you to do that. So, um, Anyway, so very excited, um, and like I said, I can't wait to see what Jennifer creates. <laughs> so anyway, so those are all the classes that I have going on. Um, so, oh, and then the last thing I have for you, and this is just to share, is I got two cards uh, in the mail, and I'm so excited. So let me just share with you. These are the first two cards that I received for my birthday. And let me just show you. This came from Robin. And uh, she even said, I'm the purple friend. How about that? <laughs> and I love that everything is purple, right? So really beautiful. Thank you, Robin. And then I got another one from John. And same thing. I love that they know that I love purple. And so their cards come with some accents in purple. So I love it. Um, Jan's uh, cards are always so nice because she always decorates the the envelope with a matching image. And I love that from her cards all the time. Every time she sends me a car, it's matching. And then also in the in the bottom, she always have this one that says better than email. It is an all the stamping up um, stamp set, but I just love it. It just looks really nice. So anyway, so thank you ladies. I really appreciate it. So um, let me flip the camera so that we can um, start our class tonight. Give me a second. And let me just go real quick through through some. Oh, hi, Marianne. Oh, thank you. You're so nice. Glad you're liking all the all the uh, cards. So thank you, thank you, uh, Sandy. Okay, great. Uh, like I say, just check them. Check the tutorials later on. Uh, hi, Carmen. Hi, Flo. <laughs> hi, Kay. Um, alrighty. So, oh, hi, Sarah. Finally catching me live. How about that? Hi, Nancy. <laughs> Uh, hi Charlotte. So thank you. Thank you. All right. So let me start flipping the camera and then we're going to be making the cards. Like I said, these are easy. I think they're going to be really good for us. Um, by the way, anyone who places an order uh, during this week, so orders above uh, or, or orders over 35 will get the kit to make the cards today. Orders over 50 will get also the embellishments, which it's going to be the adhesive back speckled dots which these are these are new and they kind of have some glittery so there comes in four colors my packet came uh here's the one from our team meeting so i get a sampling there but um you can see you get four different colors um and they have like a glittery look on top so they're really really cute i feel like these are really great and they go well for full projects so let me put all my pieces here and we'll go from there. Ooh, I forgot. Bring in some white. Hold on. Let me get some white too. Oh, I feel like I need to get... Okay, I feel like that one will be good. Okay, let me flip the camera. And then move the share. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Donna. Did it move? No, it didn't move. Okay. Uh, let me see. Sorry. Okay, so I think it's good. Let me move my chair. 
So, um, like I said, every time we have a team meeting uh, with my old light, we do have um, some projects. So, I am pretty much featuring the projects from our team meeting. And we've got a sampling of the paper, a sampling of the uh, dots, and then a sampling of the ribbon. So, I do have the ribbon, so I can show you here. And like I said, when you place an order using the host code over $50, you also get a full pack of these um, new adhesive backed speckled dots. Uh, orders over 35 will get the cart kit, and then orders over 50 will get um, the kit as well as the pack of gems. So, anyway, so let me just get my ruler. I feel like I am out of, like, out of his pay somehow. Anyway, we'll go from there. Um, all right, so I'm going to start with my car base is crumb cake and it's eight and a half by five and a half. We're going to go ahead and fold it in half and let's get the bone folder. All right, then I have a piece of designer series paper and I show you here. This is the them bones designer series paper, which is part of the Halloween collection. And this one is three by four, which is going to go right here. And then I have two pieces, I feel like this is for another car. Um, two pieces, um, one basic white, this one is four by three. And then I have a piece of Cajun craze, and this one is four and a quarter by three and a quarter. So it's a quarter of an inch um, larger, and it's gonna go like so, okay? And then I have this one where we're gonna be doing some stamping. So let me bring the colors and the blocks. Like I said, we're gonna be using the peak of the patch. And I kind of played with them yesterday. And then I should have um, leave them, um, get this kind of, there we go. Um, she have left them, what am I saying, uh, mounted. And then of course I forgot about it. Somehow I thought I was in different days. I'll be very honest. Um, I mean, that's what it is. So I have that one and then we're gonna get one of the leaves. In that, I'm gonna take this other one. Um, see, I should have left everything mounted yesterday. And then I want this one that says pick up the patch. And let's just pick it up. All right, I think that's all I need for this card, I believe. And then as far as colors, we need the pumpkin pie, Cajun craze. So, Pumpkin pie and Cajun Trace and Old Olive. All right, where are my colors? Um, I'm gonna go with Old Olive, Cajun Craze. And you know what? I'm gonna go with, um, I could use either the Memento or I'm gonna be using, I love using Early Espresso for sentiments. I'm gonna go with Early Espresso. You could use Memento as well um so anyway so and like i said this particular one uh you can see here the different uh sentiments really really nice um for like either halloween or thanksgiving i think it would also really good well you also have like a thank you um and then you have the punch the punch cuts out um the leaf the little tail and then these two punches, oh, I'm sorry, these two, hold on, no, these two, these two images, okay? So those two. All right, so we're gonna be bringing also our, um, what is this, the foamy thing? Oh, here, I'm like, where is that? The pierce mat, so let me bring that. And we're gonna be stamping with the lighter color. So here we're gonna be using pumpkin pie. So anytime you can see this is a bold image, so I would use the um the piercement because you want to have a really nice um stamp image, right? Sometimes where you are stamping off the piercement, you don't get quite as nice of the image. So if you've ever had an issue with that, bring your piercement and you'll see you have a better I think you you get better um, stamp 
um, transfer of the image, I should say. So anyway, then I'm going to bring the Cajun craze. So let's just bring Cajun craze. And I'm going to go ahead and clean this one and then use this one with Cajun. So we're going to have same thing. Just stamp it. And we're going to have one somewhere here. And this is really dark, but it will clear out here in a second. And then here somewhere here. All right. It will get better in color. And then I'm going to bring <clears throat> this one and I'm going to stamp the, I'm going to put this one like so. And that one like so. Oh no. And then I'm going to be using this one. Uh, hold on. I may need to oh, do that. And then I'm going to be using this one like so. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like that. And then I'm going to bring the early espresso. And I'm going to stamp the sentiment on this section. All right. So that's how it looks. Then I'm going to go ahead and bring... <clears throat> and put everything out for a second because I don't want to be getting any of this. We're going to go ahead and bring this. So line it up, and that's what I have. And I'm gonna bring also, so this is gonna go right here. And then I'm gonna bring some black, this is just a scrap of black, and we're gonna do the tail. So I need that one. And you can make this one in brown. I'm going to be using this in black. Um, and then bring your, in my case, I end up using the, uh, what is this? Ooh, I think I messed this up. Because I want it to be, well, it doesn't matter. I'm going to flip it. I want it the other way, but that's okay. But see, I'm just going to be adding this one. And then we're going to go ahead and glue, let's glue everything so that we can see how this turns out. Go ahead and bring this one. All right, then we're going to go ahead and put this one oh, right here. Now, I like having everything with dimensionals, as you know. So... Let's bring our dimensionals. We're going to add some layers, right? And I'm going to be doing the same with this. So very, very easy.
All right, and then I'm gonna be adding this one like so here. So I am centering it. Then this one is gonna be also <clears throat> popped up. And I'm gonna go ahead and add two of those and then two of these. And I'm gonna go ahead and add this one right here. And then I'm gonna bring this ribbon, which as you see, this ribbon is slightly different than the previous one that we have, or that we currently have. This one is slightly thicker. And then the other thing, it has um, the vanilla on the edges, which I think it looks even nicer. Um, so it is a really nice addition to our collection. And so anyway, from here, we're just gonna be making a small little bow. And I'm just gonna be pulling until I get, and it's really soft. I'm really loving it. So you can really work on making small bows. And so I'm trying to make it as small as I can. And yes, this one I feel like I end up wasting a little bit more, but that's okay, it's not too bad. And there you go. And we're gonna go ahead and Add this one with a glue dot wish. What do I do here? What did I do with the glue dots? I know I have them here. Oh, thank you, Pat. <laughs> and then we're gonna go ahead and add it here, okay? Once you have that, then we're gonna go ahead and let me get my dots. And see, we can either use these or even the greens. And see how it starts to soften the colors here? Because it was really dark a, a minute ago, right, when I stamp it. So uh, it stamps a little bit darker, and as it dries, it gets a little bit lighter. So anyway, so I could go with either the green ones or with the um, the Cajun craze. I'm going to go with the Cajun craze. But again, you can pick whichever. So I'm just going to go ahead and add uh, Let me get this one I feel like lately for this ones I might have to go with this See like And there you go. And you can have as many as you want. Like I said, orders of $50 will get a full pack, so you can go crazy with it. But see how beautiful this looks, right? I love that element of the bow. And I love that this one is like pop up from the rest. So very easy. I feel like this is one that you can make over and over and over. And have no problem reproducing it, right? So, all right. So let's go with card number two. Card number two, it's a... Christmas and let me go this route I have all my pieces here here's where we're going to be using this one so like I said I'm using the thin bones designer shoes paper so you can see it here and this is the one that has some skeletons. Um, the bundle, there is a bundle that comes with this uh, suite. It's not available. However, it's going to come back by September 11th. So if you have your eye on something like this, like I love it because uh, I have a little boy and he is in love with Coco, the movie, the Disney movie. So um, I think that that's great for that. But like Halloween will be great. There's also some uh, glow in the dark designer shoes paper or specialty paper that glows in the dark so it's pretty cool so anyway so we have those so so i have my car base as basic gray and this is eight and a half by five and a half and i pre-score at two and one eight on each end so two and one eight on each end we're going to go ahead and use our <clears throat> bone folder and then on this one I just line it up there and then go the same. That way they kind of match really nice. I have two pieces of designer series paper, the same ones 
Uh, it's the same design as paper, and it is two by five and three eighths. So there's only an eighth of an inch um, larger. You can see it here. We're gonna go ahead and glue those already. And then we're gonna be doing all our stamping here in, in a second. So give me one second, cause we need all our colors here. So I'm gonna go ahead And line it up and then we're gonna go ahead and do the same on this one let me just make sure does it matter yeah okay oh my like, god I don't know because there's some direction, I was like, does that matter or not? It doesn't seem like it did matter. So we have it like so. So now let's just bring these pieces. Now for these, this is a four by five and a quarter. Um, I have a piece here that is, I think it's three and a half. Yeah, three and a half by four and three quarters. And a piece that is four, three and three quarters by five uh, inches, okay? So we have, so this is a quarter of an inch smaller. Right, and it's gonna go like so. So anyway, let's do all our stamping. We're gonna be doing some stamping here before we continue. And I'm gonna bring other colors. So I need the Memento ink. Where's my Memento? And we need the Starry Sky. So let me start moving some things here. So I need to, I'm going to be using the pumpkin as well. Give me a second. Like I said, all of these cards are super, super easy. So I have no doubt that you're going to be able to make all the cards fairly quickly. So we're going to go ahead and graph now this one. And then we need this, I'm going to bring <clears throat> this one back and have the crowd here. And I need the one that says Halloween, Happy Halloween, because this is a Halloween car. So let's go ahead and grab it. There you go. All right, so now... So first things, we're going to do the sentiment. So this is from the Stylish Shapes um, dies. We're going to go ahead and bring the Stereo Sky. And stamp the Happy Halloween. There you go. So we have that. Um, then I'm going to be using another pumpkin. I'm going to do another pumpkin. Let me see. Does this fit here? It does. And I'm going to bring the... Let me close this because I already thought I'm going to put my hand there <laughs> and everything is going to be blue. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that one. Oh, I didn't stamp it well. So let's do this again. There you go. Whenever you're inking, you want to make sure you're tapping, tapping evenly. Otherwise, you get something like what I what I had here. See how you can see... The ink was not evenly distributed. So that's why you do tap, tap, tap. And then look how beautiful this looks. Oh, hi, Monica. No, it's not on back order. The only one right now from the... Well, there's two things that are on back order as far as bundles. One is um, the Dem Bones, which is coming back next week. Um, and also uh, the one... the Oh, there is... There is a set, there is a hybrid folder, embossing folder that has the leaves. So let me just show you here. This one, this one has an embossing folder that matches those stars. And that one is also on back order. I think that one though, is a little bit uh, for, further out. I think that one is gonna be available until, um, 
until uh, October, I think. So there are some things that are, so those are the two main things that are out. And then the designer series paper, like I said, for like the autumn, all about autumn is um, out as well. But that one is coming back next week. So, so far, only one thing is all the way to October. Everything else so far is next week. So not too bad. But honestly, everything on that catalog is while supplies last. So you got to grab all your favorites right away. Because it's true. A lot of things are going out fairly quick. Oh, no. We need this one as well. Uh, we're going to bring this one. And we're going to go ahead and have this one. Just want to make sure I have a good and have that one there well and like i said that's really where being a demonstrator came like pays out really well because we got access to all of the items sooner and so at least it, it, yeah, we we a lot of the stuff that we wanted was not on back order, but yeah. <sighs> All right, there you go. So we have that. What else do I need? I think those are the only things. And then I thought about adding since this is a Halloween card. Why don't we decorate here and put like two pumpkins here, right? And then have um have the um. So have that one. And that one. Now for this one, I was thinking we could use this <clears throat> and bring the little tail. Here we go. Oh. See, I need to start closing because otherwise I start getting all mixed up. So we need that one out. There you go. So I have those and I thought this should have faces because it's Halloween. So let's just add faces to both of these. They look really good, I think. Okay. So now, let's put our cart together. Ooh, I need to cut out this one. <clears throat> so let's just ring again the punch. All right, and then the last thing is, I need another scrap. Hold on, put it here. Just for the tail, and on this one, I'm gonna go with green. And this is mostly meadow, okay? So let's just wait for a second. Let's start putting all these pieces, because this is gonna go inside. Look, see, really nice. Um. Like I said, all of them are super easy to make. All right, so now. Now, another thing that you could do, which obviously I didn't do, is you can add even more of this designer series paper on the inside. So if you want to have more, like, see, it will look really nice, right? Or have more of this as well. So when you open it, you have something else here decorating it. Um, that's... I mean, that's if you want to be adding even more, right? Um, oh, and look how cute. This one looks like little bats. I didn't realize that. That's pretty cool. The pattern on the back. Now, this paper bag, I should say that. So, this paper bag, or, or this, um, 
as you can see. So when I cut it for your kids, right, you might have different elements. You might have a bat right there, or you might not have both because it's part of this. Just to stamp it, it will look nice. Um, but just want to make sure you know that because it's one of those where you have the long strips and uh, you might have, you might get a different pattern, but it will look nice regardless. Do, do, do. So you can see it here. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some dimensional. So this one is going to go like so. Um, let me just put this one here so it's not moving. And let me add some. So I need dimensionals on this section. Wait, is that right? Yes, that's the top. I'm like, wait. It's not moving. So I need to have them. Here and there. And I'm going to go with the tiny ones for the middle section and that's it. Okay. So now for this one, does that open? Yes. We're going to go ahead and have it like so. You got to be careful to not have any adhesive on this section so that you don't close it shut. But look at how it looks. And now I'm going to be using these pieces. Um, for this one, I want to have it like so. So let me grab a glue dot. What do I do with the glue dots here? What do I do with the glue dot? Yes, it's that area. So I'm going to have it like so. So I want this one here, this one there, and then I want the bow. Now for the bow, for this one, we're going to be using our Calypso Coral, and this is the dark. Let me just bring a piece of paper here. Um, see, we have a scrap here from a previous, and... We need about this much. And you're gonna bring the, um, what is this? You wanna go ahead and do it on the side, you know? But see how having that edge in the um, vanilla lets you get better the color. Cause the other one is all black. So you only have the inside, but this one really truly looks like the color you're coloring, right? Like the, yeah, like the color you're coloring with, so. And again, I'm doing this, not like that, so that you don't damage the, um, what am I saying? The brush tip of your line. And of course you can do this in any color you like. Let me just get it on the other side just to make sure that I grab the borders as well so that as I am turning, doing my bow, everything looks great, okay? So I'm gonna let it dry for a second. Now, if you touch it, you're gonna get um, the same color on your fingers so we can start doing everything else. Like I said, I wanna be adding this one somewhere here and then this one there. Um, and I'm gonna be bringing Mm. the um, dimensionals. So I'm going to have this one come in here and then I'm going to have this one come here. And I want one that holds that dimensional and then the two tiny ones. <coughs> mm, 
Let me just put it like so. I'm not going to press too much because I might want to change it depending on where I want the... Let me close it here for a second. The bow. So at this point, you can see it's a little bit stiffer. Um, and then you're going to be making the bow. There you go. I'm sure that I can leave a little bit more of a space here. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then at this point, I'm going to go ahead and cut out the section and this section. And again, I want to be adding this one right here to that. So I feel like that one looks now fine. Oh, hi, Sue. And then I'm going to be adding this one like so, see? So I'm going to go ahead and bring this one. And then have it there. And I don't know that I wanted to add any of the gems for this one, right? Like we could, but I didn't know that I wanted them. So I feel I'm going to leave it without the gems for these. Um, but it looks really nice, don't you think? So I think it's a great uh, Halloween. And it's not too complicated, right? It really is not. So you can see it here and it opens up like so. Now, if you have another happy Halloween or another sentiment that could go well for a Halloween, I would actually put it too as well there. Um, but this set doesn't have any more, I don't think. Um, there's nothing else here. This is Halloween. So I didn't want to put anything else. But look how beautiful this is, right? <laughs> okay, the last one. The last one uses, um, so on the catalog, there is another set. Let me show you here. I'm using some other things here. There are, um, I'm using the very vanilla, the thick. Um, and then <clears throat> there's some leaves. Now, the leaves are from the, um, what is the name of this thing? It is the Autumn Leaves Bundle. So we cut out this one in crushed curry, Cajun craze, and then blackberry. Is that blackberry? I think it is. Uh, hold on. Is this blackberry? Yeah, blackberry, please. I'm like, is this blackberry, please? Um, so this comes from a different bundle, which I know you're going to love it. This is the one that I've used for the cards on the next card club. Uh, the one featuring the same bundle, right? But anyway, this one is cut out with cardstock and look how beautiful i love that this one have uh the um the seams if you will and they're the perfect um size to match okay so anyway so we have those and then i have a little pumpkin here with its tail i don't know how you call this thing and then the leaf so we're gonna put it like so okay i have also cut out um, so this is very vanilla, the thick one, eight and a half by five and a half. We're going to fold it in half. So we're going to go ahead and fold this in half. Oh, thank you, Sue. Like I said, these cards are actually from our team meeting. So I didn't come up with the cards this time. <laughs> so anyway, I this one I did make some modifications mainly because I love the layers. There was not there's nothing wrong with this card, right? The way it was, but I just love the layers. So I'm using the largest of the dies from the Escalop Contour dies, and you can see I love this beautiful edge border. And then I'm using um, I cut out another piece of the uh, same very vanilla. And this one is, what is the size? It is a four and a half by three and a quarter. And this one is cut out, it's this is pre embossed with a new folder that is called Distress Tile. Okay. And you can see it here, really nice. Some of these pieces are not complete, right? 
And so look how beautiful this looks, right? So you get a distress piece, which I really like it a lot. So anyway, so I thought of using this one and this is going to go right here on the, uh, on the top. Okay. You could also add another, like you could easily add another layer, right? If you want to pop up some of the color, but I didn't do that. <laughs> uh, and then I was thinking we're going to do on this one, something that goes like so, right? Like we can do a bow or something. Yeah. Now let me, let me see. Do I want it to do, hold on. Since I have this, okay. Since I have these, maybe I want to have it come from here to there. Hold on. Let's just bring it here. Why not? Right? Like, why not? Let's just pass it through. I think it will be okay. And then we're just going to go ahead and do more. And I want to do like a bow. Do I have enough to make a bow? I think so. Yeah. Okay. So let's bring this one. I do, I do want to have this piece with, with dimensionals. So let's just add. So this is one of those that I might go crazy with dimensionals, which you know me, what's new with me. <laughs> but I might want to have lots of dimension on this one anytime i do tone on tone i like to have uh dimensionals as my adhesive because um that one always pops nicely and you can see the layers so i love that so hi linda All right, so we have these, and oh, I want it center, see? So I'm gonna have that one there. And then I'm gonna bring my, this, what are you? Well, actually, no, I'm gonna be using the other ones, but we can use those as well, you know? And then I'm gonna go ahead and do a bow. I feel like a bow will be nice. So. And I might want to do something that goes this way. So that way I have one side that goes this way. And another side that goes this way. Same. Yeah, and then I might want to be pulling this here. Oh, and let's cut out this piece and this piece. There you go. Look how beautiful this looks. Once we know where we're going to put it, then we can glue it. Let's not do that just yet because we need to be cutting out. Now, this is another of the banners from the stylish shapes um, that we're going to be stamping. So let's do the stamping and that way we know where we want our sentiment. Oh, not this. Hold on. I'm mixing this with the trash. <laughs> okay. And for this one, we want to have... Oh, give me a second. We want to have the one that says a harvest of blessings. Uh, this one. <clears throat> and like I said, you can have this with the black. I'm going to be using the uh, early espresso. If I can find it here. Like if I can find it. There you go. And it fits tight, but it fits. Oh, there you go. So now let's go ahead and embellish our car. 
So I feel like this one is going to go like right here and then the pumpkin somewhere there and then the leaves coming from here, right? Don't you think? So I might need to move this one slightly more. Because again, this is what I was telling you we need it so I can have the pumpkin and the light. So that way you can kind of position everything and then see where you need it. That's why I hadn't put any glue so far. Oh, where's the thing here? Oh my goodness, don't lose it. Okay, so I need the glue dots here. And I want that one to be right there. Okay. And then I'm going to be adding this one with a dimensional. So let's see. I want to have that one here and that one here, right? Or maybe, ooh, maybe like so. Maybe like so and like so. Yes. Okay. And then have the leaves come. Ooh, my goodness. Yes. Yes, yes, and yes. Let's see. Like so. Or here. And then have this one come here. Oh, I think I like it. Okay, so let's just start putting everything together. I think this is a great place for this one. Everything kind of fits. So where is my... Where is my tiger pig? Here. So let's bring... So first things first, let's glue this one. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's glue this one so it's not moving anymore. So this one is fixed. There you go. And then we're gonna be adding dimensional. So now, like I said, you're, we're gonna go crazy with the dimensionals on this car. Um, but I feel like it will look really nice. I think so. Like I said. And I'm going to be holding this ribbon. And then, and yes, I'm using a ton of dimensionals. You know me. Oh, I actually used two there. It should have been only one. That's okay. And then one here. And then one there. I know. Too many. I know. But it's going to look really good. Uh, okay, and now we're going to have this one come, oh, there you go, we just want it center. There you go. Let me take this on the side. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and add this one right here. I want that one with glue, not glue dots, what am I saying, with dimensionals too. Like I said, we're going crazy with the dimensionals. Nothing wrong with it. And like I said, I'm going to be adding this one as well. And then have this one come this way. Now, this one, I might want it to be flat because it's underneath. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and add... And this one is going to go come here. Now this one, I want it 
uh, flat on this side and then dimensionals on the other. Oh, my goodness. There you go. And then we want to be adding this one there and this one here. See? Like so. Um, okay, so now <clears throat> I'm probably going to be adding this one flat and the other one um, have a little thing there going on. And then have this one with like one dimensional and a little one here. There you go. And then we can add some gems on this one. And I think the green ones will look really nice. Although I think you can add any of these, to be honest. I think even the this one will look nice. But I do want to bring more of the color because everything is very vanilla. So I'm going to bring the, uh, what is this color? The old olive. So let's just add one and one. And then I'm going to be adding more of those. And again, you can add as many as you want. I'm just going with this. I feel like they look really cute. And uh, if you want, you can also add even uh, some Wink of Estella and whatnot to make it even shine me, sh uh, shimmery, you know, make it shimmery. It will look really nice. So what do you think, huh? It looks really nice and it's very easy, don't you think? So anyway, like I said, this was a really easy simple cart class i thought all of them look good let me just put them here on on the frame so that you can see them you can let me know which one is your favorite i'm gonna put this one on top so that it closes and then have that one there so let me know which one is your favorite um i love them all i definitely love this ribbon i think the ribbon it's amazing <laughs> <laughs> and I can wait for it to be launched. Um, not that I don't like the other one, but once I have, once I saw this one, it was just perfect. The size is better. So anyway, I love them all. And again, you can make a Halloween uh, and then two for like uh, fall. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Like I said, uh, if you place an order with me between now and September 9th, which is a Saturday, using the host code, you'll get uh, any orders over 35, you'll get the kit to make the cards. Um, if you, uh, if your order is over 50, then you'll get a pack of the new gems. Where's the pack? I have them here, somewhere here. Oh, here we go. You'll get a pack of the new, uh, what is this? The adhesive back speckle dots, as you can see them here. And, um, and so anyway, so thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I hope you have enjoyed. And like I said, tomorrow we have, um, we have the launch of the new catalog. So, uh, get ready to start making all your wish list. Um, I have already, hopefully by now you all have your catalog. I mail it to all of you. Um, all my customers should have them, but if you don't, let me know. And, um, and like I said, starting tomorrow, you start, uh, you can get all of these items on, uh, on my shop. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you soon. Let me, oh, hold on. Let me just check. Hold on. Before I say that, let me just check who is, who, is like in what before I said that. Thank you so much for sharing, Pat, by the way. Uh, okay, so Joanne says she loves the final car. <laughs> Thank you. Kathy says she loves number one, the pick of the patch. Uh, Sue says it's hard to choose. <laughs> and then Gail, of course, has great collection tonight. Thank you so much. Uh, Nancy says they're all great cards and Monica says love all the three cards. So thank you so much. Glad you're liking them. I'll see you uh, soon. And again, thanks so much for being with me tonight. All right. Bye for now. <laughs>